Today we are going to talk about all things Debbie Mack and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy that you stopped by and I hope you stick around a while. If you'd like, you can click the subscribe button below and ring the bell and that way you'll be notified of any future uploads that I might have. Today we are talking about all things Glossier. So if you're a clean queen, this might not be the video for you and that's okay. I really just wanted to give these products a try because they are the essence of the no makeup makeup look and I've kind of been grooving on that lately and I wanted to see how these products reacted to over 40 not so perfect skin. So if you're interested in learning more about Glossier products and their brand new Sky Wash shadows, stay tuned. So what we're going to be playing with today are some cosmetics from Glossier. I know their marketing is aimed towards millennials, but I thought that I would give it a try on some 40 plus skin that's a little more mature and a little less perfect and see how it goes. I'm, I'm really hopeful because when you have older skin, sometimes less is more. And this is definitely a minimalist cosmetic line. So we will be starting with the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint and Stretch Concealer. But first, I'm going to put on Dr. Jart's Sycopare Tiger Grass color correcting treatment. I got a little sample at Sephora and I'm trying this at the request of my friend Romy. So she thinks that it will help with my, my redness. And since the foundation for Glossier is not really a foundation but a skin tint, I thought I would just see if this would help with a little bit of the redness that might shine through. put it in the places where I have a, a lot of redness and this does have SPF in it which is nice I did already put on some SPF with my skincare but a little more never hurts I'm gonna put a little above my eyebrows too for some reason I get really red right above my eyebrows it's the most bizarre does anybody else have that I don't really know why that is and let's please ignore the elephant in the room, which are my out of control eyebrows. I need to go and get them done. And I also am looking into getting uh, microblading because I have some patches where the hair just didn't grow back after my chemo. Like mostly like here and on the tail. That might be something that I take you guys along with me for in the future. Okay. So let's try the concealer. I'm going to put some under my eyes. I'm just going to use my finger and just gently tap it in. Feels really, really nice. It feels like a skincare product. That isn't bad. I, I didn't use any of my um, under eye brightener or color corrector and um, I think this is doing a pretty good job. Gives it a little bit of a glow. It's very bouncy. I really like it so far. And while it is very emollient, it doesn't feel like it's going to crease. That's just my guess. We'll see how it looks by the end of my makeup application and if I need to apply a little bit of my hourglass powder underneath, I will do so. But yeah, I will do so to keep it from creasing, but I really don't, I don't feel like it's going to. Okay, so then we'll go in with the skin tint. And this is 
a really thin formula. It's almost kind of like an oil, I guess, like a tinted oil. So one, I'm going to try one side with my beauty blender and one side with just my fingers. So I'm going to do the left side with the beauty blender. And I need to reinforce that this is an extremely light coverage foundation. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even really call it light coverage. <laughs> if there was, if there is something less than light coverage, that's what I would call it. It just gives your skin a little bit of glow, but also just a little bit of evening out. I'll try the other side with just fingers. you a little more coverage when you use your fingers probably because it's not absorbing as much of the product and then I'll do the forehead with my fingers and the nose lips area and cheeks with my beauty blender I had a little spot on my nose. Okay, that first blush, I like it. It feels really good on my skin. It's very, very light. It's very glowy without being sparkly, if that makes sense. And this is something that I would definitely wear if I was like going to the gym or running to the grocery store and I didn't want to go barefaced. So let's go ahead and swatch these cloud paints. I'm really excited to try them. Okay, this is the color haze we're going to try first. Whoa. Okay, a lot comes out, guys. Okay, this is the color haze. It's very pretty. I like it. Okay, this is the color Storm. Someday I'll figure out how to do swatches, you guys. And now we'll swatch the samples that I got. Uh, the first one we'll swatch is Dusk. They're gonna be smaller. Ooh. That is so pretty. I'm gonna look like a rainbow. So that is Dusk. Sorry, I had to put my glasses on because I can't read these. <laughs> Getting old is so fun, you guys. Okay, and this one is Dawn, and this is, ooh, ooh. This one is really vibrant. Wow, what a pretty color. So, there you have it. We have Haze, Storm, Dusk, and Dawn. I'm gonna go with Storm today. Wow, this is so pretty, you guys. It gives just a nice glow. You know, I, I keep saying glow. That seems to be a theme with this makeup. I am really liking it. I'm just gonna tap in with my other blender that I put the skin tint on with, just to kind of blend it in around the edges a little bit, make it a little more natural looking. I am digging this. So here are my rosy cheeks with the color Storm. I am enjoying this very much. All right, so next let's play with the sky wash shadows. I can't read the colors on the bottom and I took them out of my packages. So I will put the colors in the description below or I'll kind of pop them on the screen here somewhere. I really 
want to try this blue color. I just it just spoke to me. But I'm gonna start out with this kind of like dusty pale rose color. I'm gonna use this as kind of like my base. And then I'm going to take this kind of yellowish brown and see what this does. take this darker brown color and I'm going to kind of deepen the crease a bit. Wow, you guys, you cannot mess this up. <laughs> this is fantastic. It's a Debbie Proof eyeshadow. <laughs> going to go with the rest of the colors but I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to put this on the rest of my lid. Okay, I am loving it. And then I'll take my other brush that I blended the darker colors with and I will just blend around the edges of the blue. Kind of blend it into the sunset colors. Okay, very excited. Oh, I didn't try the Halo Scope. And this is a highlighter, I think. Kind of cool. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on here. Oh, it's not as like, it's not as smooth as I thought it would be. I thought it would kind of glide on. It's a little tuggy. It really just adds a little more glow to the face. Down here, a little here. I'm gonna take a brush and put a little bit of the halo scope under my eyebrows as like a brow highlights under my crazy eyebrows. All right, I'm going to go off camera and do my eyebrows, eyelashes, and eyeliner, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I have applied some eyeliner and some mascara and some brow flick. Um, I'm going to put on some of the boy brow as well, although I don't really feel like I need it, but maybe it will kind of pull these brows together. I am the worst at brows. I just don't really do a great job, but I'm still learning and I'm trying. And that's all anyone can do. Okay, so as far as the brow flick goes, I really loved it. It was easy to apply. Um, I was able to fill in some of the spaces where um, chemo left me a little patchy. Um, for the pro tip eyeliner, I like it, 
but I'm not a big fan of liquid eyeliner in general. I, I usually just take a dark shadow and press it into my lash line because my eyelids are really wrinkly and as you can see it is very difficult to get a nice straight unwobbly line on my lids. So, but I wanted to try this out anyway and wear it for the day and see how it holds up. So maybe some of you that have a little smoother eyelid might enjoy it. Um, it was easy for me to make just a little tiny wing, which I really have never tried before. So that was a good thing. I'm going to put on some lips now. I'm going to use the Victoria Beckham Victoria Beckham Lip Definer Crayon. Then I'm going to take the Glossier Lip Gloss. If I can get it open. very thick. It's not really sticky, but it's it's very thick. You feel it. It gives a nice little shine though. It's not like over the top and it's not like all slippy. Okay, this is the full Glossier look that I have for you today. Oh, I should tell you that I used um, the Thrive lash extension mascara on my lashes. So there's that. I'm wondering if I should put a little bit of the halo scope on the inner corner of my eye. Let's try that. My hand is covered in colors. Ooh, yeah. That's a nice little brightener. Very subtle, but nice. Okay, I am going to go on about my day and I will check in with you guys in about five or six hours and let you know how it's going. See you in a bit. Hi guys, I'm back from my check-in. It's been about six hours and I just got done filming another video for you guys that I hope will turn out okay. If not, I'm going to post it anyway because I am trying to be fearless. <laughs> um, but as far as the makeup goes, I'm pretty impressed with how it held up throughout the day. The skin still looks dewy and pretty. The cheeks are still pretty rosy and the eyeshadow stayed on really well. The eyebrow products were amazing and the eyeliner is hanging in there, which is really something because I have really oily eyes. So for the eyeshadows and the eyeliner to still be on as well as they are is pretty impressive. And uh, all in all, I think for a no makeup makeup look, if that's what you're going for, I think this is great. I, I really have enjoyed using these products. They're easy to use, they're super intuitive, and they're just not a whole lot of hassle, which is awesome. Sometimes I just don't wanna hassle, you know what I'm saying? So I give these a thumbs up for sure. Uh, for the no makeup makeup look, and as far as how they look on more mature skin, all I can say is, is that if you have pores, you're probably going to see pores. If you have wrinkles, you're probably going to see wrinkles. But you know what? That's your skin, okay? And when we add all of these layers of cakey makeup on, all it does is make us look dry and cakey and more old. So if you wanna opt for the more dewy situation, I say give these Glossier products a try. The Sky Wash is a hit. I am going to get so much use out of these and I'm probably actually going to buy their other colors. And um, the concealer, while it did not crease at 
all. It did lose some of its concealing ability a bit. So next time I think I'm going to try it with my under eye brightener and color corrector and see how that works out for me. But I'm really happy with it. Like I'll wear this to the gym because I don't like to wear heavy makeup to the gym. Oh, and I should say that I did go out today. I went out and I did a long walk uh, down by the water. So I did exercise today um, and it's still, it's still staying strong. So yeah, I'm liking it. So thank you for joining me on this little Glossier journey today. So if you enjoyed my video, please go ahead and hit the like button for me. That helps YouTube know that my content is interesting and that they should share it with other people. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you and ring the bell so that you're notified of any further videos that I might post. That's it for tonight. I am going to go wash my face, put on my comfy clothes and chill out with my dog because my hubby is out for the evening. And yeah, that is it, you guys. Thanks so much for spending this time with me. And I look forward to hanging out with you all again. And in the meantime, let's be kind to each other. Bye.